Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to EBC Teen Sunrise Paintings with Runal Pintarka. Runal is an artist who has gotten a bachelor degree, bachelor degree in fine arts. She also loves. She also loves to paint and teach other children arts and craft. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm Rinal Pindarkar, and we will start uh, making your very own uh, sunrise painting. And uh, I will show you a few tips with very less time you can make your painting. So first we need a paper or canvas, then um, I prefer pencil. And also one thing to remember, don't, um, draw very dark, just very lightly, just need to see the lines. But uh, at the same time, you should be able to uh, erase it if it's too dark or if it is if you made a mistake. So for that, just make sure you will use very light pressure to it. And um, let's start. So first, hold your pencil like this way, so that it's more easy to draw very lightly. About uh, more than half, you need to draw a line, but line should be not straight because uh, our sunrise painting is having upside all so sky and down we need water. So water is not in a straight line. So just make a little bit uh, wavy, curvy like this. Okay, then in the about the middle, draw half, uh, nearly half a circle. Like this. And just make like an outline to it. Okay, then we need the sky, and for sky, we need some clouds. So easy to draw, just draw a lines, all the lines little bit wavy or curly. And it's not uh, any, uh, any particular way. You can just, it's not compulsory to make the half way or everyone's sky or um, cloud look the same. So if you want a very small here, big on the right side, that's fine too. Just to make sure the small uh, pointy part should come inside. Like this, then a few here. According to your page, according to your size, it should be more or less, or the, anything is fine. And then here one, just a double line. You can de decide your numbers. It should be, uh, it shouldn't be even or odd. You can see your painting. And if you are happy with that two or three uh, clouds, that's also fine.
And when you're finished with the sky, we need a few water lines. Same like that, but very small. And uh, where is your sun? Underneath the sun, we need just straight lines like this. Everybody is done? Yes, we're done. Yes. Okay. So now we need the colors. So for this sun, sunrise painting, we need very basic colors. Yellow, orange. So in your palette or in your dish, I, I will suggest you to remove these colors. Any yellow shade, light or dark, it's fine. Or if you want both, you can use both. Then orange, red, any type of blue, and a little bit white. So I will show you my colors. So we need these colors. Just any type of acrylic, it's fine. Just any, any yellow shade, orange, red, and blue, and a little bit of white. I hope everyone is done. So we need um, maybe flat brush or if you are comfortable with round brush, that's fine. Just one big one and one small. We need just two brushes. So first, we will start with the sun and whatever yellow shade you have, take a small brush and take one yellow shade and in the middle circle, we need to apply that yellow color fully. No shading, nothing, just a plain yellow color. And then the next step is orange color. We can use that orange color on the these type of lines, whatever we made as shapes of clouds. So we can just do that orange shape over here.
If someone doesn't have orange shade, which you want, then you can add yellow, mix yellow and uh, red together to make uh, whichever orange shade you need. If you add like, yellow more, then you will get yellowy orange. If you add red more, then it, it will become radio, radiish orange. And just make sure acrylic colors, uh, they dry so quickly. So make sure if you want uh, the same shade or if you want to make uh, any shading, mixing, so you, you have to work it a little faster. So because why I'm telling two things are, uh, I finished four uh, shapes, but I need a little bit shading now. So what I will do, take a yellow color and add on top of this. You can add that one by one also, whenever you are doing the colors, you can mix at the same time, or you can mix later. Or another way is you can take yellow first, apply on the half. And then take orange and finish the rest. And now for rest of the area, rest of the sky, we need yellow shade, but we need a different yellow than this. So we will add little teeny weeny bit orange into it. So I'll show you that this is your yellow. Just add a little bit orange to it to make a lighter yellow, lighter orange shade like this. Then you're gonna apply, apply to the sky. If you feel this is not the right color which you want, then you can add a uh, yellow more or orange more to make a perfect shade.
And because this is our sky, so try to use your brush like this way, where it will be easy to get that effect. Even for water also, we need water is wavy like this, it's flowing like this way. So it's easy to When you finish with the sky, just we have a, like a little, not very thick, but like a thin border here. So for the uh, sky part, we will use a red color. Just any shade of red is fine. If you want your color is too dark, then add a little bit orange or yellow to it to make it a little lighter. And when you finish with this line, immediately we need that orange color to merge with this. If it will dry, then it won't get mixed or it won't blend that well. So make sure when you finish with this line, immediately mixed with the orange, blend with the orange. orange and then a little bit of yellow.
just this part is left. So we will just add a little orange stone here. And again, we can mix with the yellow. Merge with the yellow, so it will look like it's a one with the sky. I hope everyone is doing good. And when you finish this, if you want to mix any color, you want to add any color, you can. Yellow, orange, red, any shades. If you want, okay, I want a little bit more red in here, then definitely you can add a little bit red. And if you're okay, now we will move to the water. And for water, we need a yellow, blue color. Any blue is fine, whichever blue shade you like, you can use that. If you don't want too dark uh, water, you can add mixed white with the blue a little bit and you can make a lighter shade. And then whatever the, not the waves one, but the rest of the water, we will color with that color color blue, any shade of blue.
And just one more thing, when you finish with this uh, water, just use the same blue color, not too much, but just a little bit, but the same shade somewhere in the sky. Like we need to balance those things, otherwise it will look like a two parts of the world. So we, we want to make that in the one picture. So we will use that blue color somewhere in the sky just to balance it. And when you add it, just make sure you mix it with just a little bit. Just merge it with the yellow. And if it's not, if, if, if it's hard for you, then just use like a shape, color it with the shape. And then add the, take a yellow color and then just give it a little bit next to it. And that way it will merge it like this. I know it will become a little bit green over there, but that's fine. Because sky is very colorful, especially in the morning. So so beautiful colors. You can mix it with both sides. If you want to mix it with orange, you can Obviously, take a little bit orange and mix it with here. Okay, then when you finished with this blue color for the waves, you can add a white into your blue and then use it in your leftover space. That's for the water wave. Light, even dark. See, like this. And for dark, you can add a red and blue together. Just a teeny weeny red and rest blue. And just give up like this. And then of course you can mix, mix with, just merge with it a little bit. With just another brush or just same brush is fine. Just make sure it will dry so fast. So if you want to merge it, you need to hurry. So just give maybe two, two lines and then uh, mix it with light tone, dark tone and mix it.
just don't uh, give in the middle part more um, not much dark tone we need in the middle because this is reflection of the sun so we need more white and bright colors over there to give on the left and right side And just we need this dark tone underneath here because we should be able to understand that is a sea. And when sea and uh, sky touches together, we will see because it's too far. So we will get, uh, we will just see the dark tone over there. So just a tiny line and again merge with the light blue, this blue, whatever you have used. Just merge with the blue. It will look like a So now we need to use a white color. But what we are going to do, just take a white, like if this is a white, and just take a little bit yellow, only tiny, tiny bit, and mix it because we want very bright yellow, tint of yellow, but it should be whitish tone. So like this color. It's nearly white, but just a teeny weeny bit of yellow. And that we are gonna give in the middle of the sun. And also here, just in a line way, like this. And also a little bit here. And then again, you need to mix with the color, whichever you have on the sides.
and also in the water because there is a blue. So we need to mix it a little bit with the blue. And now when you finished with this, you can look at your picture and then see if you want to add any color to it. If you want, okay, if you are thinking, no, I don't want this, this is too much blue on the sky. So you can mix it with yellow, orange or something like that. So it's up to you what, how you want to look your picture, okay? So if you want to change a little bit or add any color, you can to balance two things. I think now it looks perfect. So if you want 
to take some more time and add something, you can. And also when it will dry fully, if you want to add some trees over here or any island or anything like a building or so some anything, if you want to add, you can. But just remember, this is our water. So according to water, you can add maybe a small boat or a, maybe an island on the corner or this corner. Yeah, anything you can do it, but let it dry first. You can take any color of, uh, even you can draw with just a markers, black marker or any dark marker, or you can uh, draw with the color pencil. So that way, if you want to erase it, you can, and it won't get ruined when you color it. So if you want to add that, you can. Otherwise, just leave it as it is. You can sign it on the bottom and you're done. So if you are okay, if you want to show me your pictures, you can. I'm just about to complete. Okay. Um, I mm. Mansi showed her painting if you want to look at it. Yeah. Can you show it again? Yeah, that's very beautiful. Good job. Thank you. I hope so you beautiful. enjoyed it. Yeah, of course. That's good. So yeah, I think we are done. Thank you so much for giving me chance to show you this painting and thank you for attending. Ma'am, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having this event with us. Enjoyed it a lot. And for anybody who's watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out EBC Teens. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you want to join, you can click on the link and thank you. Thank you.